ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to City of Liverpool. Today we play Boodle, away, away from home. Uh, if you don't know, if I mean most of you, if not all of you, follow City of Liverpool religiously. This is why you're watching this episode or watching this series. But for those who may not know, City of Liverpool shares their stadium with Boodle. Uh, New Bucks Park. So technically we are the away side today. However, I gonna count this as a home game pretty much so let us first take a look at our schedule so pretty much we've been doing very well uh, two losses two draws everything else is green fairly comfortable we do have we're still sticking with that 442 formation the tactic it's given us some good times and some bad times um, Curtis Clifton has been you know clamoring for more for more game time unfortunately he doesn't play a midfielder role very well so I sit him in DM so I kind of push that one of those uh, midfield centers down a little to a DM role but that's really the only changes we've made so overall our last run out was Runcorn Town apparently anything with Runcorn in the name and it kind of gives us headaches so two three loss there Josh Grant Carl Noon getting our goals and again against Runcorn Linnets, 1-2 with Denson getting the goal. I am going to show you Denson's goals because he doesn't score a lot, but damn, they are good goals. I mean, they are fantastic goals. But here you can see Grant has basically been our top guy. Uh, let's take a look at the player stats. Denson, obviously I, I'm not surprised that he's got such a high average rating. Carl Noonan, Zach Alley, most assists, they're doing very well. But our, our local boy, uh, Josh Grant, is the one that's it's kind of stymied me. I didn't think, you know, he would do all that well. I mean, I'm rating it off of potential. Our scouts are just, and our coaches are just apparently blowing the big one because half a star for current potential and potential ability, or current ability and potential ability, and this got, dude's got eight goals already in 10 appearances, so in two assists. 715 average rating, he's doing fantastic. And I, I, him and Noon up front are just quite the pair. Uh, Noon has got some issues here and there. He likes shooting it from time to time, but a lot of the time when he's kind of pushed out wide, uh, mostly on this case to the right, I believe, he'll just cross it right in front of goal to a Grant who just slots it home. There's no way Grant's gonna miss these. And the, the passes have been stellar, crisp, spot on. So I'm loving the partnership up front. And, but let's get to these Denson goals. I do want to show you those. So I'm not going to go into these games too much, but I do want to show you Denson's goals. I mean, they are fantastic goals. And all three of them, in fairly quick succession uh, game-wise, they, they're they not just dinks in. It's very good goals. So you get Grant, who passes it over to Denson and just slams it into the upper right. Fantastic effort from outside the box. Then we have, what is it? Three games later, or two games later, three to one win over Hanley. Where is Luke? There he is. So Hepworth with the free kick over to Denson. One times it just, I don't even know how he got that in. That was just pinpoint perfect into the lower right. I and mean, that was phenomenal. And then unfortunately on our one, two loss to uh, Runcorn Lynette's, another fantastic goal. And at least maybe not a fantastic goal, but a fantastic effort this one. Smith shoots it all the way out to Williams on the left, bangs it all the way to, to Denson on the right, misses the first shot, but slots home the, the second shot right off the keeper. Great work, you know, great work rate on that one. That was just, get the rebound, sl you know, just slam it as hard as you can into the goalkeeper and it bounced right in. So he's been fantastic. I've been loving him. The only dude that's kind of been, he hasn't been iffy, he's been very good. Uh, but he's kind of been pushed down the squad depth a little, is our boy Kamasi. Uh, where's Joe Kamasi? There he is. I mean, 6'7 average rating hasn't been the greatest in six appearances. It's not bad at all, uh, especially at this, this level. But he has been pushed down by our new boy, Callum Hepworth, who has been sitting in this DR role, doing a very good job, 7'14 average rating. He plays midfield too. Maybe I should just kind of move him to the midfield. I don't know. I've been kind of playing people around here and there. So we'll see. Maybe I'll do that, have him in the midfield today and have Kamasi back in the uh, on the starting rotation. So we will see. But now another thing on rotation. We've got three goalkeepers. 
I was kind of pushing Dale out of the system. Simply because, I mean, if you look, again, going off these stars has not been stellar. It's not been the greatest. However, he came to me, said, you know, dude, I, I want some game time. Please just give me some first team game time. I kind of caved, said, you know, okay, I'll do it. I, I like having three goalkeepers, especially with a, I mean, you've seen the schedule. Look how many freaking games we have left. I'm not even going to count that. That's a lot of games. So, basically, I like having three keepers just to be safe. And our under 23s, I've signed a couple people. Um, Vaughn Rudge Wardle. I've only, I mean, he plays all across the midfielder, midfield roles. Numbers aren't stellar, you know, potential and a current ability, not stellar at all. But it's great to have someone on the bench with those kind of, you know, that ability to, to just run the midfield. But getting back to our squad, so I like having three keepers, as I've been saying. And, you know, if I was going to let him go, that just means that if Pearson and Hill get screwed, uh, injured, however, then we're kind of out of luck. So I played him once, did very well. So I kind of figured, hey, let's just rotate all three. So, and that's kind of what we've been doing. So Dale's got how many? Two appearances, six, seven, five average rating. Not bad, not bad. I mean, for, for a goalkeeper, you're gonna get between six, seven and seven or seven, one usually, uh, even in the Premier League, you know, you know, all the top divisions. I've never really seen too many goalkeepers higher than that. So, Callum Hill, four appearances, 688 average rating, so better, but more appearances. And then five, you've got 696 for Martin Pearson. So, today is Callum Hill's day. He's kind of been coming to me and saying, hey, dude, you know, I'd like some game time too. So, uh, we are definitely players react well to the chat because we just had the chat saying, okay, I'll suck it up and I'll play you. And it's not that they're not being played because they're bad, it's just they're not playing because I've got three goalkeepers that all want game time and I don't know how to really say F you to one of them and kick him to the curb without actually kick, kicking him to the curb. So, But today we do have Boodle, 17th in the league. Let's look at this league table. You can see City of Liverpool, 7-2-2, two two, sitting in first with 11 played, 23 points, 13 positive goal differential. Winsford, oi, one game in hand. Uh, they still can't match us even if they win that. But look at all these 19s. One, two, three, four, five in a row. Tied at second. Then you have 18, 17, 17, 16. I mean, they all the way down to, I'll give you 16 and 17, 15, you know, 14 to 15 spots. Nobody's out of this league yet except maybe these three. I don't know. Um, AFC Darwin was an easy game. I, and Charnock Richard, too. I cannot believe how easy those games were. But so, I mean, this this whole area is just tight as can be so we need to keep winning we need to keep climbing or not climbing because we're at the top but we need to keep st we need to keep there how's that we need to keep staying at the top of this damn table so i cannot talk today i'm not doing very well <laughs> so let's get to the match preview they are we are inconsistent i i find it funny that we're inconsistent at three wins a loss and a draw yet when i played you know, Monaco or something, that was considered as a pretty good recent form. I don't know. So, Boodle sitting in 17th. We're sitting in first. Let us get to this lineup. So, this is how we're looking today. We got Hill in goal today. Richards, Williamson, Smith, and Kamasi in the back four. Allie Williams, Hepworth, and Denson in the midfield four. Grant and Noon up top. I'm just realizing, I don't think Connor Williamson has, do Williamson has done much lately. Eight appearances, 666 average rating. Um, but his stellar start kind of has fizzled a bit, so uh, we'll see. So let's submit this team and get going. Proceed to match, yes please. So we they're playing with a 4-4-2 as well. They got, who is this, R. Cox, Ryan Cox. Uh, 12 appearances, holy crap, 7-4 average rating. So I'm gonna scout this dude, and maybe I'll pick him over. Oh, he's valued at 1.4. 1, 1. Can I contract offer? Yeah, I need to, I, I can't transfer him, make an offer. I'm not paying that much. I'm not paying at all, so. But damn, actually, his contract expires at the end of the season, so maybe I can pick him up. Anyway, I'm gonna shut up now and get to this dressing room. Nobody wants to be encouraged. Interesting, so. That was fun.
So as you can see, we're it's still purple. So everything's purple, 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 the yellow stairs. So hopefully we can get one over on our local rivals. I feel like I'm on a talk show. Why am I talking like this? I seem to be doing that every episode. Okay, and we don't have sound. Why don't we have sound? That's gonna be an echo. Okay, and for anyone who wonders, I don't like using headphones because I don't like hearing myself. It kind of throws me off. I mean, I already have trouble talking as it is. Thank you. So I don't use headphones. I don't, uh, unless I'm actually chatting with someone, then I just keep it off. Okay, finally we're getting shots. We should encourage, try more shots, okay. Apparently we've been doing a lot of short passing and that seemed to be a little bit better for us. So Hepworth, into the box. Smith, our, what is he, 17 year old defender, Brad Smith? That was a nice little dink over from a header. So, boom. Cannot reach it, and we get in. We get in. I don't know what I'm doing today. I swear to God. So, 25 minutes, and we're up 1-0. Now, I will say... Oh, nice tackle. But still lose it. Our goals... Not all of it. I mean, not for the most part. But a large number of our goals come from that kind of shot right there. Noon. Can't get past Wharton. But it's a, you know, slam the ball up the field. Noon just breaks away from his defenders. And then you get, you know, generally a one-on-one -on -one type situation. Oh, why would you cut it off there? I was hoping Denson would just do one of his magic tricks. Come on, get it. Oh, thank you. Just a bit wide. All the players are in, all the fans are in midfield. That's kind of funny. There we go. There's Noon up front. Oh, just to the wide. We get very... Oh, there's the City of Liverpool fans. There you guys are. You can start picking your names out. <laughs> Who gets what? So it is halftime. Brad Smith, obviously, 7.4 average rate or rating today. 6.3 for Josh Grant. So, guys... Things are going well. I know you're capable of better, so let's get to it. Let's put this away. This has not been comfortable so far. I mean, I think we have more possession. Oh, no, we don't even have more possession. I did not see that. 47%. More shots. Better on target. And that apparently disappeared into the stands somewhere. So... Kamazi, oh, out to Ali. I thought that was going to get it. Something was going to happen. But Gunner up. And Bailey just runs right through us. And Hill with a nice save. Our guys are not all that tired for being 61 minutes in. I don't know if we just have great fitness or what. But that seems to be the case. Come on, Grant up to noon. Gets it stolen. Come on. Concentrate. Keep the ball. And there we go. Up to Noon, who's open. Gets his goal. My boy Noon. 63rd minute. So we are up 2-0. Look at this. Bailey just loses out on it. Grant just grabs it, knocks it up to Noon. Dead center almost. And I don't know what the keeper was doing there. What's Wharton? That, that's how I'm going to save it. Yeah, I'm going to push it off. So, 6-6 six, six with Williamson. Richards at a 67%. Uh, Williams, Williamson, that's always going to screw me up. But let's make some tactical changes. Well, actually, analysis. Anything? Work the ball into the box. I don't need that. Thank you, though, Tom Spirit. Did, oh! Let me guess, you're on a yellow? Nope, Hepworth, Okay. Aye. So, Bailey, why is it slow? Oh, confirm changes. Jeez, I thought Smith was banging into his own goal. So, three minutes out of time. Two, three, that should be doing it. Pickering, there we go. 2-0 win over Boodle. Boodle. 
I predicted a win for City of Liverpool today, and they duly delivered. Yes, we are all happy about that. So, player of the match, I'm guessing was our boy Smith. Yep, yeah, looks like it. So, that keeps us top of the table. 12 played, 26 points, uh, 15 goal differential. There was one thing I wanted to mention. Our match against Hanley, where is it? 3-1 win. So, Joshua Preston gets sent off for his second yellow card in the 89th minute. Minute and a half later, Callum Hepworth gets sent off for his second. I was really hoping that we'd go four, five, six up. I mean, great, it's 89th minute, so you'll probably only get one or two goals. But still, Hepworth just kind of comes in, makes a bad tackle, and that was just freaking annoying. So, anyway, so that does it. We we beat Boodle. Uh, we, we, let's see, we keep our top lead. Smith impressive for City of Liverpool, 8.10. I wonder why there's no regen face for him. Praise Smith's performance, that was terrific. Of course, most of that was because he got the goal, but anyway. So, that does it. So, schedule from here on out. I don't know, who knows. <laughs> I'll, I'll pick it up somewhere, somewhere around here. Squires Gate, Barton, Paddyham? I don't know. I don't know these names. I do not know these names. Maybe Main Road. Hmm. We'll see. Anyway, thank you as always for watching. Take care and enjoy.